All right, sorry folks. We'll uh, we'll get that gas leak fixed up, and we'll be back tomorrow with two for one hurricanes. <laughs> Here you go. Oh, thank you. Great. Please don't steal the glasses. Everyone's out. The place is yours. See, wasn't that easier than us having to try to kill everyone? Yeah. So, what now? Would you be so kind as to move that freezer unit so that we might be able to access the tunnels? Time's ticking, Josh. Come on. Are you absolutely certain we're looking in the right place? We know this tunnel runs the length of the city. Marcel must have carved out a section to serve as his personal dungeon. Ingenious and sadistic. Well done, Marcel. Save the compliments when he comes to kill us. Your flattery might give him pause. Okay, you're all set here. So, uh, good luck, break a leg, and I'll just be on my way. What, so you can rat us out to Marcel? Not bloody likely. Oh, just snap his neck, we'll be done by the time he wakes. And if he wakes before that? Then kill him. I'm right here, guys. We're not killing him. Yeah, you're probably right. For some reason, he's a value to Marcel. Cole, would you? Happy to stay and have a drink? And eviscerate anyone who tries to follow you? Good, then let's go. We're wasting time. Splendid. If you want to be free, just pull out that blade. Michael could do it. Do not invoke his name. Fine. What about your daughters? Hope. She's out there, right now. The fact that weighs upon me every second I'm in this hole. But... I can't. Can't or won't. For five years, you had to stay put. In order to keep your family alive, you had to keep yourself alive. No matter what the pain or fear or solitude. But now you can leave. And you choose to stay, even though your daughter's waiting for you. That makes me think that blade's not your problem. Do you want to hear my theory? I'm sure you're going to tell me. I think you're afraid to see her. Now that she's old enough. She can see you. What if she sees you as a monster and hates you for it? When I see my daughter... She will run into my arms. She will look at me and know that I love her. I would do anything for her. That's what every father says. But in the day to day, what if when she gets in a fight with a friend, when someone breaks her heart? I will kill anyone that harms her. Oh, lovely. Then instead of hating your darkness, she'll learn by example and become a monster herself. Is that what you fear? You don't want her to fall into that cycle of violence. And your fear is eating away at your strength, and that's why you can't free yourself. I, I have had enough of this nonsense. Klaus, admit it. Down here, you can't hurt her. You're just a myth. This great man who sacrificed himself to save his family, but in reality... He... In reality, I would not be subjected to the ridiculous claims of a woman who died in my arms. I conjured you so I can send you away. Go!